Hi, superstars. It is time for math, and we are on lesson 13 1. Analyze and compare two dimensional, which are 2D shapes. Let's look at the shapes below. We are going to circle the shapes that have four vertices or corners and then name the shapes. Let's see how many shapes we're going to circle. So circle the shapes that have four vertices or corners. So which shapes have four vertices or corners that you see? Here's one of them. Do you see another one? This rectangle looks like it has four corners or vertices. Any others that you see? How about this four-sided shape? It has four vertices and four corners. So how many shapes did we circle? We circled three. So we can write down that number, three. So now we're going to mark an X on the shapes that do not have four vertices. Does this first shape have four vertices? We didn't circle it. Does it have any vertices or corners at all? No. So we're gonna mark an X because it does not have four vertices. How about the next shape? That's a triangle. Does it have four vertices or corners? No, it has three. So we're gonna mark an X. Let's look at this triangle here. How many vertices or corners does it have? Does it have four? No, it has three. So remember, we're only looking for the shapes that have four. So if it doesn't have four, we are marking an X through it. How about this right here? This has one, two, three, four, five, six corners or six vertices. That does not have four, it has too many. And how about the last one that looks like an octagon? That has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has eight corners, not four. So now how many shapes did we mark an X through? Five. Five of those shapes do not have four vertices and three of those shapes do. So which number is greater than the other number? Five, so we're gonna circle the number that is greater. Five is greater than three. All right, let's move on. Let's watch our video. How can you tell rectangles from other shapes? Emily has three shapes. Which of the shapes are rectangles? What do you know about rectangles? Rectangles have four sides and four corners. Emily crosses out the first shape. How does she know this shape is not a rectangle? Okay, look at that shape. Does it have four sides or four vertices? No, it doesn't. Because it does not have four sides and four corners. What about the other two shapes? They look like they have four sides and four vertices or four corners. Emily circles the other two shapes. Why does she circle the two shapes? They are rectangles. How do you know? They have four sides and four corners. You helped Emily find the rectangles. Okay, let's look at number one in our guided practice. I want you to listen to the clues that I'm going to give you and you're going to circle the shape. 
that the clues are describing. So for number one, I have four sides. I do not have four sides that are the same length. What shape am I? So what shape has four sides that do not have the same length? This rectangle, right? They have sides that are not the same length and it has four sides. And then I want you to mark an X on the shapes that it does not describe. So I did not describe those other shapes. Okay, listen for number two now. I do not have four sides. I do not have any vertices. What shape am I? All right, this shape does not have four sides and it doesn't have any vertices. The vertices are corners. So which shape should we circle? The circle. There are no corners or vertices on that. So let's mark an X over the shapes that we did not describe. Okay, let's move on. Let's look at number three. Okay, I want you to listen to the clues and you're gonna mark an X on the shapes that do not fit the clues. And you're gonna draw a circle around the shape that the clues describe. Here are the clues. I am not round. I have less than four sides. What shape am I? All right, so the clues are, I am not round and I have less than four sides. Look at this shape. How many sides does that have? That looks like it has four sides. So I don't think that is correct. We're gonna mark an X. So it said, I have less. That means fewer than four sides. It says, I am not round. So could this be it? This is round. No, it's saying I cannot be round. So the clues are, I am not round. I have less than four sides. So could it be this last one here? How many sides does that shape have? Four, so no. We're looking for a shape that has less than four sides. So the only shape I see that fits those clues is the triangle. So we're gonna circle the triangle. Let's move on to number four. Listen to the clues. I am not a rectangle. I have zero sides. What shape am I? Well, I am not a rectangle, so we know that it is not this shape, which is a rectangle, or this shape that is a square, but it does fall under a rectangle. And it has, says I have no sides, I have zero sides. So I see sides on this triangle, so it cannot be that triangle. So which shape am I? A circle, so we're gonna draw a circle around the circle. All right, let's look at number four. I have four vertices. All right, look at all of those. All of those shapes have four vertices. Let's listen to the next clue. I am a special kind of rectangle because all of my sides are the same length. What shape am I? So you're looking for a shape that has four vertices or four corners, but this shape is a special kind of rectangle. All the sides are the same length. So which shape is it? 
It is right here. So we're going to circle this one. It is not this one. It is not this one. And it is not that one. Hello, Good job. All right, we are on our independent practice. And that means you will do this page independently. You are doing great. Until next time, superstars, have a wonderful day. Bye.